Hello friends, in the previous video, we looked at a numerical integration method called trapezoidal rule. In this video, we are going to look at another numerical integration method, which is called Simpson's one-third rule. Our objectives are to integrate numerically a function using Simpson's one-third rule. Simpson's one-third rule, like the trapezoidal rule, falls under the closed form of the Newton course integration formulas, which are the most common numerical integration schemes used. Here, we replace a complicated function or tabulated data using an approximating function that is easy to integrate. The general Newton course formula is given as i equals integral a to b f of x dx, where f of x is the function we would like to integrate. And this, this is approximated by integral a to b f n of x dx, where f n of x is the polynomial of the form a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus up to a n minus 1 times x power n minus 1 plus a n times x power n. Here n represents the order of the polynomial. If you use n equals 1 as shown in figure 1, which is the first order polynomial represented by a straight line, we get trapezoidal method. If n equals 2 as shown in figure 2, if you use a second order polynomial, this is represented by a parabola. Under Simpson's one-third rule, v equals n equals 2, as shown in figure 2, which is represented by a second-order polynomial, which is a parabola. Simpson's one-third rule is obtained by fitting a second-degree polynomial to three equally spaced discrete points. So we have i equals integral a to b f of x dx, which is approximated by integral a to b f2 of x dx. f2 of x is represented by a second order Lagrange polynomial. For a single interval of two increments, we get, uh, by substituting the Lagrange polynomial into the previous equation, we get i equals h over 3 times f0 plus 4 times f1 plus f2. The composite Simpson's one-third rule for equally spaced points is obtained by applying previous equation over the entire range of integration. Note that the total number of increments must be even. So, if we have a number of segments, um, the final form comes out as i equals h over 3 times f0 plus 4f1 plus 2f2 plus 4f3 plus uh, so on plus 4fn minus 1 plus 2f times n. Sorry, 2, two times fn. So the individual error ed here is represented, which is equal to a negative b minus a whole per phi divided by 180 n per 4 times fm for 4. Here fm for 4 is the fourth uh, derivative of the function at various points, as we have seen before under the trapezoidal rule. The global error is of the order of h per 4, h, where h represents the interval size. In the previous equation, n represents the number of segments. So, if you look at the individual error term, if n is doubled, the error term becomes 1 16th of the original error value. So, this is an improvement when compared with the trapezoidal rule that we have seen before. So to reduce the error term, the number of segments n need to be increased. So we can now uh, 
to an example using Sim Simpson's one-third rule. So we would like to integrate the function f of x as represented here. The limits are from x equals a to x equals b. Here a equals 0 and b equals 0 0.8. The value is obtained analytic analytically uh, which is equal to 1.640533. We'll apply Simpson's one-third rule and do the numerical integration and obtain results and we can compare the results. We can vary the number of segments again and see how the uh, the program behaves. So the MATLAB code for uh, Simpson's one-third rule is given here. The function f of x is represented here and i equals one third of one third times h times f naught plus four f one plus two f two plus four f three plus up to four times f one f n minus one plus f one. This is the general um, Simpson's one third formula or rule formula. The limits are given as a equals zero and b equals zero point eight. We initially consider the number of points n to be five. and we run this case so um, we obtain a value of 1.623467 which is pretty close to the accurate value or exact value of 1.64 we obtained analytically now we can increase the number of segments to say 25 and run it again and we are getting a little bit closer and if you go say to the next uh, um, value of n equals 51 and we rerun the case we get about uh, the same about the same value that we obtained analytically which is 1.640533 To summarize, in this video we presented Simpson's one-third rule to numerically integrate a function f of x. The error is of the order of h per 4. In the next video, we can look at other methods such as Simpson's 3 three eighths rules. So thanks for watching the video. I will be posting the code on our website and I'll provide the information in the YouTube. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, please post it. Thanks for watching.